my 11 tutorial. Uh, it's about pointers and sorry for not uploading videos lately. I was busy studying for university, so let's get on with C++. So first question is what are pointers? But before answering that question, you need to understand what the address is. CPU doesn't understand names or letters. It refers to locations in, in memory using numbers or addresses. Mostly, we don't know uh, and don't care about those numbers, but you can print them if you like. For example, computer can memorize variables A, B, C on numeric locations like this. And you really don't care about those locations, mostly. Those are hexadecimal numbers, so with that in mind, uh, we can understand pointers. But uh, what you should know, these addresses hold some uh, data, mostly. But uh, I made these addresses up, so maybe currently they do not hold some data in my program. But in some programs, maybe they will. You can change the address, but it will not change anything here. This is a hexadecimal number. So, pointers point uh, to addresses. It's a variable that contains an address. Uh, although most variables contain some useful info, like some numbers, if you declare it type integer or double, uh, and we use those numbers in programs and variables. Pointers contain some numeric locations uh, of other variables and are only useful in a way to get to something else. So let's delete this and let's get on with the tutorial. And why are pointers useful? Sometimes function has to send some big amount of data to other function. And um, one way to do that is by copying all the data from one variable and adding it to other variable in the function declaration. But that if the data is big, uh, it will take a lot of time and uh, we can we use the RAM memory um, without a reason. So that's one of one of reasons why that's useful. Uh, one more reason is if you want to make a function that is able to change data of some variable that is not declared globally or is declared in a function that uh, called our function, we can make, uh, for example, a function that doubles values and it will double all parameter values. So there are also other ways of using pointers, but we won't go deeper for now. Uh, so to declare a pointer, um, we should type something like this. So type, data type of uh, the variable we want to point to, and asterisk and name of pointer. Sorry for typos. But uh, type does not exist, so if we type integer, it would be valid. But we will change this to p, so p is our pointer, but it's not initialized for now, it points to, it can point to variable that is type integer, so let's make one variable that is going to be called n, integer type, and it will contain value 0. So to make a pointer to point to our variable, we give the value of pointer the address so remember to put the sign and the name of the variable so our pointer now points to to a variable n and if you try to show the value of pointers most likely uh, we, we will get an address as i said you see that's an hexadecimal address of the variable n as we said that the pointer will point to variable n this means to the, uh, get the address of variable n if you type something else here for example let's make a variable b so let's put 10 say b you can notice that the variable changed so let's do this. Huh. Now we will set the pointer to point to n again, and we are going to point. Uh, we are going to print the value, the address of the variable n. As you can see, addresses are slightly different. That's interesting. So you s you've seen how uh, pointers uh, can point to multiple values. You can change the 
pointing valu uh, values or variable um, any time in the program. But uh, let's get on how can we manage the value of the of the variable that our pointer points to. So let's make it to point to n, and we're going to delete this b variable. And to show the value, we type the asterisk before the pointer. So it will show the value of variable n or the variable that pointer that the pointer is currently pointing to. Zero. As you can see, it's good. So what if we want to increase the value of n but without using the n but going through the pointer? So most um, you should type something like this. It, for example, we are going to change it first to one and to show the value of the pointer but maybe you're going to say hey if I change the uh, value of uh, p not of variable n but that's not true if we type here the n you're going to see that we change the variable n as you can see 0 1 it works now let's um, let's add some value to our variable n through a pointer. So we are going to add 10 to the current value of our variable and print the variable. As you can see, 0, 1, 11. So 0 here, n is 0. We display the, uh, the value of n. We say the pointer is uh, the um, pointed value is equal to 1. We display it, as you can see, it's uh, really 1. Then we add uh, 10 to the current value, and as you can see, it's 11. But, what if you want to increment the value? If you just do this, it won't work. Because, first, um, this will increment the address of pointer, not the not the value of uh, variable n. As you can see, when we run the program, it will remain 11, but it should be t it should be 12. So we need brackets, brackets around, because uh, in this way, it refers to the value of um, the uh, variable that is pointed by our pointer. If we uh, delete the brackets, it will increase this first, and then use the value. So, when we do this, add the brackets, it will get the value and then increment it. So that's something about simple, uh, uh, simple usage of pointers. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, ask in the comments, I'll be glad to answer them. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.